Um, I guess Roman alluded to it, so let's go to the next story. So, I didn't really bother writing like a big set of like coherent notes uh, for, <laughs> for this because it's such a fucking mess in of itself. Um, so yeah, let, let's talk about the Apple v Epic or Epic v Apple, whatever it, however it's posited. <laughs> Um, so just for a quick little recap, Epic broke uh, terms of service with Apple by allowing Fortnite players to purchase microtransactions directly from their website instead of through the uh, in-game app. So that circumvented Apple's policy. Uh, Apple <laughs> took down Fortnite from the App Store and uh, Epic struck back with a pre-planned like ad campaign to be like, what was the hashtag? Free Fortnite? Like it was ready like the day that happened. They didn't pull that out of their ass like last second they like it was it was ready um and so epic has taken apple to courts uh with the ulterior motive uh well stated ulterior motive of uh toppling apple's monopoly and industry restrictive practices such as the uh the 3070 cuts um so yeah instead of what we're going to do here is we're going to take some random little tidbits and kind of laugh at them <laughs> Uh, so, so, so Can I just the... point out something really, really fast? And I don't yeah, know if this is it. on your list, but I was going to say it anyway. Apple's lawyer literally looked Epic in the eye and was like, you are aware that your top 20 games actually has 25 games on <laughs> <laughs> And Epic, honest to God, was like, yes? <laughs> so, <laughs> They're like, you are aware that you're lying to your customers about your top 20 that's having so 25 dumb. games on it. And I'm just Pettiest like... Pettiest of petty bullshit. Also, that Apple's lawyers had to say the words of Warframe and Necromonger in the same sentence. Oh <laughs> and they're like, God. what's a Warframe? There's even so much stupid lawyer shit going on where they're, they're talking about, like, the skins in Fortnite. And they're just like, and they're talking about, I guess there's a skin in Fortnite called, like, Mr. Peely, who's a Peely, banana. Oh God, and, the and, and, banana. They have, and they have yep, to bring up just like. That's the thing I can even comment on. And they, and they have to you mention know, like the banana isn't wearing underwear, and the and they're just like, God. does it show anything? And they're and the, and the epic lawyer's like, no, it's a banana. It doesn't have a penis. Can't chat it's just a, a banana. I can't. Don't forget, Peely scares me. Peely's like my like my sleep paralysis demon. Like Peely's in the corner of my room, just staring at me with unblinking eyes as I can't. So I can't move in the middle of the night. Like, I hate Peely. I hate Peely with the deep-rooted fashion. He's just scary. I'm so glad that he exploded during that, <laughs> during that cutscene. So much of this shit is just, like, legalese bullshit for... And like, I'm just going to quote uh, Rebecca Valentine of IGN. Uh, all in all, the United States court system wasn't prepared for the cocktail of a high-profile case centered around an industry that is secretive <laughs> to the point oh of God. absurdity. And uh, we we've talked about that before, just like in comparison, to, like I guess the closest uh, analog would be the film industry, which doesn't fucking care if anyone knows like what they're working on. Um, and just like so much, even of the jargon, like in front of a judge, is just like, what the fuck is all this bullshit? It's so stupid. Oh, but, yeah. when, um, when, when you have a lawyer, you know, submitting into evidence <laughs> all these redacted files into a public Dropbox, right, and then on top of that companies are issuing pullbacks on those redacted files <laughs> on a you know minute to minute basis during the actual trial it's it's just an utter shit show but it is hilarious to watch <laughs> also uh I, I don't know if this is also on on your list but the like leaked characters that are planned for Fortnite that they had to give over to like the judge for some reason i don't know mm -hmm. that was like uh samus uh the the bride from Kill Kill Bill, John McClane from Die Hard. The Rock, really? The Rock, yeah, literally John McClane was on that list. Fortnite's but there was also crazy. like Kobe, Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Um, oh no, Lady Gaga, oh, <laughs> Ariana God. Grande. Like that was a trip. I read that list and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Samus Samus sounds uh, cool though. Um, let's see. Uh, multiple business partners have chimed in. 
or no, did I skip a part? No. Uh, multiple business partners have chimed in to refuse access to information and redact them with games such as uh, Saints Row 5 getting leaked in the process. So just like Epic has like so many countless business partners throughout the industry, like even Sony, Microsoft, third party companies, whatever. Everyone's dirty laundry is getting fucking tossed out for everybody to see because um, Apple wants to dig through all this shit. And it's kind of crazy. It, it's it's weird seeing like so much of what was a secret within the industry just getting like laid down on the table. Um, there, there was a document that came out showing how much Epic paid for um, for exclusive games or even just like the free games they gave away, like how much money they gave um to developers so i think like borderlands 3 got like it got like a uh, hundred million and some some odd change to launch exclusively on on epic uh some of the free games they they gave out like indie games um some of them got pretty low balled with like 80k while some others got like uh millions it's it's kind of crazy how big of a disparity there is and i imagine that might have uh ruffled a few feathers within the indie game uh, a dev community would just be like, well, how come your game literally got like 20 times what mine got? Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? Uh, Ramen, you already brought up the public folder, which people downloaded because I don't know why they would put that up public. I have no idea. Oh, it was good times, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, it came out that Sony really hated the idea of cross-platform and uh, required Epic to compensate them uh, financially from like uh, microtransactions that people would have uh, quote-unquote otherwise bought uh, from playing on PlayStation. Like they bought it via another platform or if they bought it from the website and whatnot. Um, and it also came out that this wasn't limited strictly to Epic and Sony kind of extends this policy to other partners. Um, as part of that exchange, there's a couple of emails and if, if feel free to jump in if anything in particular stands out, um, Epic reached out to Microsoft to open up Xbox live to free multiplayer just weeks prior to the uh, battle with Fortnite. Um, there's actually a pretty funny casual email between, uh, Tim Sweeney, the CEO of, uh, Epic and, mm -hmm. uh, Phil Spencer, the CEO of, uh, Microsoft. Where Tim Sweeney's just going, just like, yeah, maybe you should do like this free to play thing. Um, anyway, enjoy the shit show that's going to happen next week. Um, <laughs> uh, he, he says, enjoy the fireworks, the upcoming fireworks, and he's talking about the pre Fortnite thing. Oh my God. Uh, the one thing that we failed to discuss was that like big ad campaign that Epic had against Apple was very clearly based off of one of the original um, Apple computer ads. That yeah, I think we did that with the. Yeah, I think we did that when Nitro was on, like, damn. It was, was Nitro literally on? propaganda at children. <laughs> <laughs> like, bruh. Like, I don't... Yeah. Like it, There's no way around that. I, it's just, it's absolutely fucking... Like, just... So, I know nothing about, like... I mean, I watch The Legal Eagle on YouTube, but that's as much as I know about, like, lawyer stuff. And it's like just the just the shit coming out of this. It's like when you're trying to explain video game stuff to your grandparents, and you and they're like, "So is there anything sexual about the banana?" And it's like, "No, he's a <laughs> banana." <laughs> like, like it's just I just can't believe that these are actually things being said in a court of law. Like, like two lawyers are be are literally talking over a sentient banana as if this is the most important thing in this lawsuit. Well, I, like, one of the most hilarious parts of it was when they asked apparently Tim Sweeney, "Hey, can can you put this switch together?" And he's like, "No, I can't. I don't know how to put this Joy-Con in the oh switch." Yeah, yeah, that was the literal thing that happened. That was my grandma. Oh, As I just mentioned, grandparents, I am a, um, I am a, I am a, I am a. I don't know when I'm, at, but but yeah, it's just like seeing this is some of the most greatest shit I've ever seen because I know it's bad. This whole thing is bad. But just the whole idea of just two lawyers talking about a sentient banana so seriously is just like it's it's every day I wake up and I remember that Peely's sexuality was discussed and I'm <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> like poor is one of the biggest shit show aspects of this was um alongside the court system being unprepared for the scenario the uh, nature of it taking place online led to issues 
uh, of the public call-in line being abused with random callers screaming free Fortnite and uh, playing Travis Scott music. Uh, one person oh. called in to say, we want mobile back. I'm so poor, I can't afford a console. And oh. a bunch of other <laughs> obscenities I will not oh admit God. here. <laughs> yeah, I, so I, for fun, I tried dialing into the Zoom and it was just unintelligible. And oh, Jesus. Like, like, yeah, nope, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> Such nope. a shit show. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, some in- other interesting stats. Um, so it so sh- should be apparent that um, the reason why Epic gives out free games and whatnot is to get people onto their platform, to get them interested in it's an investment. Um, but according to internal... Uh, Epic documents only 7% of people who installed the Epic Game Store for a free game have gone on to buy another game from the service. Um, so, you already talked about the data about people getting paid. Um, Epic in 2018, Epic made $5.7 billion. In 2019, $4.2. And 2020, $5.1. With the uh, 97% of the revenue in 2018 coming from Fortnite. Like, like Epic was already a very fucking well-off company just being um, the engine company. And, like, it's been used in, like, in, in games and movie sets and stuff. But, uh, so, so on top of all that money they already had, it's been fucking Eclipse, where 97% of their 2018 revenue was fucking Fortnite. That's, that's insane. I, th- I feel like people... <sighs> Like I, I'm informed of the industry, but I think I feel like even I underestimated like how fucking ridiculous it is, how much money that Epic makes, uh, specifically from Fortnite. And they and were yet, really well off. Video company. games are so expensive to make, and that's why we have to have microtransactions, and that's why we can't pay the developers <laughs> a living wage. Oh my god, it's almost like it's all a big stupid fucking game, and it's all bullshit. I I concur. Blaine has a point. Sorry, yeah. that's like the only thing I've been able to contribute to this whole conversation, so I really felt I needed to say it. Blaine, what do you have to speak about an unnaked Peely? Uh, <laughs> I, I do not here's, wish here's to think about naked Peely. Here's all I have to say. Is he circumcised? There, but I'm Tish. But I'm Tish. Hey, Sorry, no. I hate that when I'm slightly drunk, I fixate He's... on a naked Peely. This is terrible. Well, it, it haunts your nightmares, right? Peely. Yes, it does. Um, I... I hate that skin with a passion, but some uh, other interesting tidbits. Um, and I, I kind of wish Mesa was here because he he would he's passionate about this part specifically. Um, Google Play offered uh, an eighty-eight to twelve cut for revenue share for Fortnite, but uh, Tim Sweeney said no unless uh, they gave that cut to everybody, so including everyone that makes games on the Google Play Store. Um, and and I feel like like even the the. I'm not going to play like, oh, I like this corporation better than this corporation because it's whatever. It's just in it it for money. But if the ultimate outcome out of Epic winning this is ultimately a better revenue share for smaller developers, I think that's a net benefit either way. Um, Yeah, it it is an interesting dichotomy because Epic is very much not the angel in this, right? They have their own machinations that they're going for. Like one speculation i saw was hey they really want more of a revenue cut because their store is not making money and it probably won't make money until 2024 so this is them kind of getting ahead of the ball and taking more control to help divorce themselves from fortnite and maybe get their store onto other devices but then you have apple where they're the giant corporation right (laughs) they are the giant corporation so that nobody's well off in this case but i'm i'm with you on that jose and that Hey, if that's a side effect that developers get paid more and you know the platforms open up a little bit more to these struggling indie developers, which they are, then hell yeah, why not? Hell yeah. Um, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, boy. I just said hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I guess one last little tidbit I have here. Uh, when Tim Sweeney reached out to Tim Cook, the um, CEO of Apple, uh, he kind of just had a uh, just a letter saying like, hey, I think we should go to you as a company should move towards doing this 88 to 12 cut. It's better for developers, better for the industry and whatnot. 
Uh, Tim Cook's only response within an internal email, which they had to show in court, his only response to this was, uh, is this the guy that was at one of the rehearsals? Like, he did not know who the fuck uh, Tim Sweeney was. He, he does not give a fuck about Tim Sweeney whatsoever. Oh it's it's just funny. That's incredible. Like, yeah, it was it's just some <laughs> random guy that was there who's like some janitor or something. I, it's, it's dumb. Some random Oh my god. Yep, that's the power disparity, right? <laughs> Doesn't yeah. seem like it, yeah. but in a nutshell. Yep, that's the difference between hundreds of billions and tens of billions. <laughs> yep. Um, I think we got time for one more. Uh this one should be kind of short. Go ahead and mark this. Two. Okay. <clears throat> 